Hi everybody, this is Joe with the TechnologyCloset.com, and today I'm just going to give you a few maintenance tips for the Mac. Um, that they're just my opinion, but they're they're pretty solid tips uh, that anybody can uh, should follow along with. And if you do this, your life will be a lot better, and your your computing uh, um, experience will be a lot a lot uh, happier. Um, first thing is is um, if you have an issue, if you're seeing that you're having an issue with a disk, uh, or even if you're not having an issue with the disk, if you've installed quite a bit of applications in the past, you want to, from time to time, run Disk Utility, um, uh, which is in the uh, um, Applications Utilities folder. Um, you want to run Disk Utility and run Repair Disk Permissions, okay, or uh, Repair Disk Volumes. And repair Disk Volumes is really if you're seeing computer freezes and you think your hard drive may be having an issue physically um, the repair disk permissions is more if you uh, if you've installed a lot of applications and, and things you want to make sure you run that every once in a while to make sure that the permissions on all the files in, the, in your system are what the operating system needs them to be so basically let's get into it real quick I'll show you uh, if you go to um, spotlight search command space let me launch Disk Utility. Okay. We have Disk Utility. We have a Macintosh HD volume, and we have a backup volume. Two different disks, two different volumes. The Macintosh HD volume, you can do a repair permissions on this while the system is up and running, or a verify. I like to do verify first just to see what's wrong. It doesn't take any action against those issues until you hit repair disk permissions. So I like to do a verify first and then a repair. Um, the, the, the disk issue, you can run a verify. I would recommend not while the system is running. I would recommend booting off of a USB bootable drive for Mountain Lion or Lion or booting into your recovery partition and running disk utility from there. That way the, the volume that you're trying to look at for repairing isn't active. There's not files locked. There's not files being written to and read from. It's, it's isolated. So the, the, I'll do verify disk permissions now. We'll take a look and see how that runs. It's going to ask for an administrator password. And it's going to run. And your time will vary. This is a, really an estimate. It says a two minutes a minute. And as you can see, there's, there's, it's finding things here. The permissions differ on library. Should be these, and, and they're discovering differently. Uh, group differs on library. Quick look, okay? It's, it's, uh, it's finding some, some issues here. So um, we're gonna wait until this completes, and I'll show you the results when it comes, when it finishes, because who knows how long it's actually gonna take? Up to three minutes now. Oh, yep, yep, maybe not. So as you can see, um, it ran and found uh, a few uh, discrepancies in the um, perm disk permissions on certain files and folders. Um, what I would recommend doing, it's okay in my opinion to run the verify while the system's up and running. If you want to do a repair, again, I would reboot into uh, the recovery partition, run disk utility and run repair disk permissions, repair disk from there. Um, that way you're 100% sure nothing's accessing the files and folders that you're trying to repair on that volume. Uh, so I'm not going to run it here, but that's using disk utility. Again, if you're having issues, suspected issues with your disk, you want to check and see if it's physically okay, that again, boot into the recovery partition, run a verified disk on the volume, and or repair disk uh, if you need to. Um, so we have a backup partition here as well. Um, we'll use, we'll get into that later. That's just an external drive. I can do a repair disk on this perfectly fine because the disk is not uh, part of the running OS right now. It's a separate drive, so we're good to go on that. But I'm not going to do it. We're going to quit out of disk utility. That's that's tip number one. Run your disk utility to repair permissions. Do it occasionally, once a month, every six months, whatever. Uh, but as long as you do it once in a while. Um, next next tip is going to be run software update to keep your 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 OS software and your third-party software from the App Store up to date. 
And since not every application may be sold through the App Store or updated through the App Store, you may need to go into the individual applications, third-party applications, Lightroom, for example, uh, or if you have Photoshop, or if you have, um, I don't know, another third-party application that's not offered through the App Store. You'll need to go into those applications on occasion and have them check for updates uh, individually. That's kind of a drag, but that's the way we did it in the olden days before the App Store. So two ways, you can either go into the App Store, okay, and you can, we have one updated already, and click on the Updates tab. It's going to ask for the administrator password again. Okay. So we're in, okay, and we have the one update. It's a digital camera raw compatibility update. I don't need to install that right now. If it was an, another OS update that required a reboot, it would mention it here, reboot required. Uh, and I would recommend that if you're not ready to reboot your machine as soon as that thing's done downloading, I would hold off on even hitting update until you're ready to reboot. You don't want to download and, and, and go to apply the update and then say, oh, I'll reboot tomorrow or later today and then forget. You know, and then you have a pending update that's half downloaded. When you do it, do it and reboot. The other way to get in here is do uh, Apple Menu Software Update. On, on um, Mountain Lion, this will take you right into the App Store Updates tab because the updates are provided through the App Store. So that's the next one. Update your OS and the applications. Make sure you're on the latest ones. Uh, there's a lot of bug fixes that come down, uh, things that you may not experience right now but may come back to bite you later that are fixed in these updates and security patches and things of that nature. So that's the second, second tip of the day. And next, we're going to let you know, don't save uh, or try not to save files directly to the desktop and what I mean by desktop is what you're looking at right now which is when you first log into your machine whether it be Mac or Windows you see your desktop background and your shortcut icons I see a lot of people especially on Windows machines that actually have and I've been guilty of it in the past myself because it's an easy place to put them who have gotten files not just shortcuts but files pictures videos PDF files Word documents Excel documents etc and actually save them directly on the desktop so the icons there and the problem with doing that is when your system boots and and you log in for the first time th this every document and and file that's on this desktop has to load before you can interact with it and if you have a lot of large files in there, it's going to slow down that login process. It's going to make your computer seem like it waits forever before you can actually use it once you turn it on. So the quickest way to speed it up, if you've got a bunch of those files in there, is save them to your home directory, which all these modern operating systems uh, provide. Mac, Windows, Linux, all of them provide home directories for the users. And in those home directories, there's usually predefined folders for documents, downloads, videos, photos, music, all that stuff. So you can categorize it by putting the proper files in the proper locations there and don't save them to the desktop because that is the one folder. If you look in your home directory, there's a folder called desktop. That one folder loads and everything in it loads when you first log in. And if you have large files in there, it will slow you down incredibly. So try and keep it as clean as possible, and that's just, you know, it's my opinion. It's a fact that it will slow it down, so it's up to you guys if you want to, if you want, don't want, if that doesn't bother you, then that's cool. Uh, next and finally, um, backup. Um, you want to make sure that the very first thing you do when you get any new computer, um, I'll speak to about a Mac in this case, is go out and get yourself a uh, external hard drive. They're not very expensive. You can get a terabyte external hard drive for $100 or less uh, and plug it in. The, one of the first things you should do when you turn your computer on for the first time is turn on a backups resource. In the Mac, you have Time Machine. Uh, we've done a video on Time Machine, how to set it up. It's basically you go up here and you, you select, you know, um, open the Time Machine preferences. You select your disk, you turn it on, and it's set it and forget it. It'll automatically back up to your external drive uh, that you, you purchased. But that's at the very minimum you should do. And there's a lot of other things that you should do on top of that, such as maybe looking into some 
some pay, um, cloud-based backup options. Uh, my personal favorite is CrashPlan. It's unlimited storage. It's a little slow, so you need some some decent upload bandwidth on your internet connection. But um, it's it's great peace of mind to know that uh, God forbid something happens to your to where your backup drive is located, sitting next to your computer. Natural disasters. We just had Hurricane Sandy this past year, wiped out a lot of people's houses and property. And along with it, I'm sure their computers, and if they had a backup drive sitting next to that computer, that's probably gone too. So things like your photos, your family photos, and, and those precious documents, gone. So to have it in a separate location other than your home or office, perfect. So backup, backup, backup. And um, that's basically it for the tips. You follow those few tips and you're, you'll, be, you'll have peace of mind that your, your data is safe. You'll have a little bit snappier login process on your computer. Uh, you'll even have a snappier computer because if you run your disk utility every once in a while and make sure your permissions are proper, uh, the computer will run a lot smoother. Uh, and make sure your software is updated. That, again, will improve performance and add features. And, and uh, yeah, it's, it's a win-win. So uh, uh, that's our tips for the day. And uh, please continue to watch and give us a thumbs up if you like it. Thanks.